Welcome to Hostess Kitchen. Today we're going to make homemade electrolyte drinks in bulk based on the element recipe. If you find my videos helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. By far, my most viewed video is the one I did on how to make homemade electrolyte drinks. And the way I make them, I like to make them in individual servings and I can take them with me or just I kind of store them in the cupboard. Uh, but when I was reading through the hundreds of comments, the most requested item was, hey, could you show us how to make it in bulk? So today I'm going to show you how to make a gallon worth and also a 30 day supply. And if you've already seen my first video, I'm going to cut right to the chase and give you all the numbers. I did the math. If this is your first time here, please stick around a bit and we're going to talk about some things. First, a quick review. So again, here's the recipe off the Element website for one serving. A half teaspoon of salt provides about one gram of sodium. And I'm now using Redmond's sea salt based on the comments that I got from that first video. 400 milligrams of potassium chloride provides about 200 milligrams of potassium. And a quarter teaspoon of magnesium malate provides about 60 milligrams of magnesium. And I have links to all these things in the description below along with the recipe. Here's what you need for a 30 day bulk supply of the electrolytes. You need five tablespoons of salt, two teaspoons of potassium chloride, and seven and a half teaspoons of magnesium malate. That'll make you a bulk supply to store in some Tupperware or something like that. So how much is one serving out of the bulk? Well, I weighed it out. It's four grams if you want to weigh it on the scale. If you just want to use a teaspoon, it's just a little bit under one teaspoon is going to be one serving. And another thing I would do, I would make sure I shake it each time just to make sure everything's mixed up before you measure it out. To make a gallon, here's what you need. You need three teaspoons of salt. You need 2.4 grams of potassium chloride. And this might be easier to weigh on one of these little micro scales. They're like $10, $15 on Amazon. So you need 2.4 grams, which is about three eighths of a teaspoon. So if you just want to eyeball it, three eighths of a teaspoon of the potassium chloride and one and a half teaspoons of magnesium malate. That's all you need to make the bulk. And if you want to stick around a little bit, we're going to talk about all this stuff. And again, links to all this stuff is in the description below. So here's my story on how I got into this whole electrolyte thing. I listen to a lot of health podcasts and they're all sponsored by Element. They all talk about electrolyte drinks. I was playing pickleball. I was working out a little bit more and I thought maybe I should start this. So I was going to buy Element and then I went to buy it. It was $1.50 a serving. I'm thinking over a course of a month, that's going to add up to a lot of money. So maybe there's some homemade version or something like that. So that's when I started Googling and I found the recipe right on their website, which is what I just shared with you. Um, so when I worked out the cost per serving on this, again, if Element's $1.50 to $1.80 per serving, um, I can buy salt and all the ingredients here, these three ingredients, for a little over $40. And I calculated, I'm going to get about 300 servings out of that. That's about 15 cents per serving. So 15 cents versus $1.50, I'll take 15 cents all day. Now, the only other variable is how are you going to flavor it? And that can get tricky. Here in Michigan, fresh limes can be 70 cents a lime. That's going to add up over time. So what I found, what I do nine times out of 10, I just use a water enhancer like Mio or this is a Kroger brand. Um, another popular one, and I like this as, uh, as well, is called True Lime. There's another True Lemon. These are both great. And when you, can, when you can get them on sale, they're not that expensive. And the last thing is just a couple tools that I use to kind of make this easy. Again, I really still like making them in individual servings. These are little plastic cups with lids, like for jello shots or whatever. And um, I'll just line up 15 of them. It takes me about five minutes and I'll measure them out. I can take these with me on the go or whatever I need. So I still like the cups. Um, then when I'm measuring them, I'll use this little metal spatula here and I'll get my teaspoons or whatever. I just use that to kind of even it off and that works out really well. And we already talked about the scale, but if you want to get really accurate with grams and milligrams, I highly recommend a scale. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Here's my bulk electrolyte video. You guys are welcome. And we'll see you next time on Hostess Kitchen.